Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There are many ways to share files online in a legitimate capacity. I'm not talking about files that don't belong to you. You just may have copies of them. You own the files, but do you own the license for the files? I'm talking about, like, uh, let's say, a huge video recording. And you can use a variety of services uh, to share files back and forth. And, uh, you know, there's times where I just need to send one file to somebody. And everybody has their favorite, and I'm sure you're going to go ahead and share whatever your favorite service happens to be. In many cases, you can send up to two gigabytes for free uh, using services. And instead of emailing the file to somebody, you upload the file, and then they email the person to let them know, hey, this file is ready, it can be downloaded between this time and this time. And we're, again, we're talking about uh, you know, use cases where you're not always sharing files uh, back and forth. Uh, you just, you know, one-offs, really. And then there, I guess, are times where you want to share consistently across the board a series of files. When we record this, like this video, it will be placed into, at this point in time, Dropbox, and be shared with the people who are responsible for uploading the video to YouTube. And without these uh, services that will automatically synchronize computers, uh, it, it's, it's sometimes a, a pain in the neck. So I don't know if you knew this, but you send it. Uh, it's been around for a while. Uh, I, I used to use it almost exclusively for emailing files, and now it seems that I'll be able to use it for more than just sending files. Uh, they've got now a desktop conduit and mobile apps as well. Uh, so it's really evolved. If you haven't looked at it lately, it's more than just emailing files. Even though, again, you're not emailing the files, you're uploading the file and then emailing the link to the file where someone can download it instead of clogging their inbox. I mean, if it's bigger than you know, 10 megs, you definitely should upload it elsewhere and let them download it on their own. Uh, you know, even 5 megs is still a bit big for, for email. Even, pardon me, even though with uh, a lot of today's uh, access uh, to broadband, uh, it, you, you wouldn't think it's as big of an issue, but you know, you'd be surprised at how much a huge attachment can clog up an inbox. So uh, you know, they just released basically their, their cloud file sharing platform and enhanced it in such a way that we are considering moving over to using them for sharing files, these large files like videos, over what we have been using, Dropbox. Namely, because if someone gets a premium account, like the, the, the high-end account on you send it. Uh, they can share with people, not everybody they share with needs to have the premium account. So if you have a, a team, this could be potentially very cost effective. Uh, you may have caught the video that we recorded on this uh, the other day. Uh, we did an interview in their offices down in San Francisco, which is kind of fun. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice to see companies evolve and adapt to change. Uh, and I think more than anything, consumers win. And potentially your, your small business could win, uh, you know, teams of people can win. Chris, get the word out about the internet. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do just that. I was reading a comment here as uh, people are posting just about anything they want to in the uh, live YouTube, uh, YouTube comment thread. Uh, I will. What makes you send it different from Dropbox? I'm struggling to find differences. Well, uh, one thing uh, would be that you don't have to relegate just an area of your hard drive for it if you don't want to. Uh, using you send it service to email a link to a file, one off is easy enough uh, to do. Uh, you know, there are going to be minor points, and y you may find you send it fits your needs in terms of cost uh, if you want to pay for something, or if you don't want to pay for something, which is a better free account. And here's the thing uh, they're not necessarily mutually exclusive. You can have all of these cloud services accounts, and you know who wins? You do. I've got all of them. Uh, installed or access to all of them. So I have so much free space in the cloud, it's not even funny. The challenge is, is knowing what is where. That, that, that can be uh, s somewhat of a trick. We'll see you know, how this continues to evolve, but I think uh, it will continue to get cheaper, uh, easier, and uh, you know, certainly a lot uh, more integrated into your workflow uh, on the internet, assuming you deal with other people on a regular basis when it comes to rather large files.